boot type 1, deep medial cheek fat compartment, nasolabial compartment, and tear trough. For this technique, we will utilize the nasolabial insertion port. The injector begins by placing a finger on the safety infraorbital rim margin. The medial mid-facial viaduct is accessed with a blunt cannula. The inferior quadrant of this viaduct contains the deep medial cheek fat compartment, which can be volumized at this level. Using a tunneling technique, the cannula is passed through the premaxillary space, at which time we can volumize the superior nasolabial fat compartment or efface the tear trough. At this level of the orbital rim, the cannula can pierce the orbital retaining ligament in some instances, but the injector must be cautious not to inject the retroceptal fat pad. In this patient example, the cannula is placed through the nasolabial port and passed deep to volumize the deep medial cheek fat compartment. The aesthetic goal is restoration of anterior cheek projection and restoring medial midfacial support. Fat or commercially available filler with large particle size, higher G prime, and increased cohesivity are recommended. Some standard techniques aim to just fill the holes or grooves. We encourage injections to be placed deep to the abicularis with parallel vertical passes forming a stalagmite shape. With a tunneling technique, the injector approaches the superior quadrant of the medial midfacial viaduct. It is important to keep a finger on the orbital rim to understand the position and depth of the cannula. Always be cognizant not to inject the retroceptal fat pad with this technique. Higher G prime, small particle size filler, or small aliquots of fat are effective in this region. Be cautious with large particle filler as we believe this can cause lymphatic disruption and clumping, which may affect the aesthetic outcomes.